Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. What's the difference between bootstrap container and bootstrap container fluid in Dreamweaver? I'm going to explain very quickly and very easy way using Dreamweaver. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Now let's get started. Okay, so first, please make the other two uh, different folder. One is named container, and another one, container fluid. Okay, so these two folders are empty, completely empty folder. Now, open Dreamweaver. So before we start, let's go to site menu, new site, and the site name is gonna be container because we're gonna use that container class. And then my root folder is gonna be, so my um, uh, the root folder is a container folder, and choose it, and just uh, save it. Okay, now in your files tab, you're gonna see the uh, site name container, and then uh, the location of your root, root folder here. Okay, now let's create new. We're gonna create a new document, HTML, and then a framework, it's going to be bootstrap. We're going to create new one. And then uh, we're not going to use any uh, pre-built layout. So we'll start from very, very scratch. Create it. Okay. So first, um, you see that we have a body here. So I'll place your mouse cursor in the body. You will see that kind of your blanking cursor with this kind of a orange and the yellowish frame. Now, go to Insert tab. Make sure you're using a Bootstrap component from drop-down menu here. So let's create a container uh, website web page first. Choose the container. So we have a container, see? Then, click your mouse cursor inside the container. Now let me insert um, basic navbar, which is here. Basic navbar, choose just, just the basic navbar. Click. It goes inside, so it's supposed to be nested. Nest. Okay. I'm not gonna change it today. Then, after navbar, let me just insert just one more item. Uh, this carousel. Scroll up. It's still under the booster component. Carousel. It goes after my navbar. Okay, so let me save it. File, save as. I'm going to save as index.html. Save it. It's going to ask you to save that yeah, the, uh, the gray box as a placeholder image. Just to say OK. Now let me check my root folder. Container folder. See? And let me just double click this index.html in my uh, web browser. See, so this is the uh, container class. So on the container class, uh, it has a margin on both sides. Okay. And then everything centered. And then it has the kind of fixed width in this content area. Okay. So we have margin on both sides. Okay, now let's go back to Dreamweaver. So this is a container. I'm going to close this X out. And I'm going to create another new site. New site. This time the site name is going to be container hyphen fluid. My root folder is going to be container fluid. That one. Choose it. Save it. Now create new one. All the same setting. Document type HTML, bootstrap, create new, and check nothing here, and create it. Okay, now in my body, see? I'm going to click inside my in my body, and then go to Insert tab again. This time, we're going to insert the container fluid. This one. It's going to be nested. 
See, so now we have a container fluid. So click inside this container fluid. Then let me insert the nav bar, the basic nav bar, the same thing. So we can compare. So it's just the basic nav bar. It's going to be nested. Now you already can see the other difference. Now after my nav bar, I want to have a carousel like we did. Carousel, it goes after my nav bar. And let me save it. Save as index.html and my root folder. Same question, so say OK. And let me check my container fluid folder, index.html. You see the difference? So this is the container. And then uh, my content has the other uh, nail bar and my carousel has the fixed width. See, it keeps the, um, the same kind of a fixed width of this my content area. Container fluid, no matter how wide, how narrow your web browser window size is, it fits from end to end. See? Okay. So um, this is the, the basically uh, the biggest difference between the container and container fluid class in Bootstrap Dreamweaver. Okay. So I hope the, uh, this video helps you. And then um, uh, it's a pretty simple video. And then um, uh, you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.